Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from MixGridAutomation.com and welcome to another lecture of our course Spring Boot for Automation Testing. And in this lecture, we'll be talking about what is the major difference between the classical Selenium code versus the Spring Boot code for automation testing while we try writing the code. So we'll be seeing this in action basically. So if you see this code, you might have seen this kind of code a lot of time. Like you will have a main method which is going to invoke the web driver object or if you're going to be using test ng probably you'll be using hooks like before test to initialize the web driver object and then you'll be using some sort of context injections like pico container to put a dependency injection and then you will be using to read the driver object or you may be passing it by extending the who class within your test class and then you, you'll be using that particular driver object or the most easiest way is this one that you'll be using and then you'll be performing the rest of the operation navigating to the home page clicking the login button and entering the username and password clicking the login button in the login page something like that so this is the most classical way of doing and because as you can imagine here this code looks pretty much like a page object model code and it's going to have probably and base page, the code is going to look something like this. Like it's going to have a protected web driver, driver class, and then it's going to have a base page constructor, which is going to initialize the page factory dot init element to initialize the page object model code of any page. And because this is a base page, it has to be extended within other pages like login page, for example, and it is going to set the login page with a constructor for the web driver and it's going to pass to the super which is the base page and then the rest of the code is going to be pretty similar with the selenium code so this is how the page object model code is going to be looking as well but now let's talk about the disadvantage of this code as you can see this code is very very familiar code that you might have seen many times and spring boot as i told you has always prioritized the convention over configuration as a model for simpler programming. But the code that we just saw has nothing to do with it. Because in our classical code that we have seen, it has got a lot of object creations and it's hard to maintain the instance object in case of page navigation. And it's also hard to maintain the web driver object and there needs to write a lot of code to read the configuration properties value from where we're gonna be reading it for different environment. So this is something we already discussed in our earlier video as well. And these are the major disadvantage of the classical coding. Whereas, welcome to Spring Boot. As I told you, the Spring Boot is really gonna make your life easier because the code for the base test is gonna look something like this. As you can see, this particular class file has got a lot of annotations, like Spring Boot test for that matter. Similarly, there is something called as auto-wired homepage, auto-wired, login page at value app.url and there is a at test which is going to perform the business logic which is nothing but the convention and this code looks pretty neat clean and it is just to the point like what operation that we are going to be performing to run our test code and not just that base page code is also going to be even more refined as you can see over here it has an auto wired of web driver and a at post construct where it is going to be initializing the page factory and then it is going to perform a navigation operation. I mean, this navigation method can sit anywhere, but just for the simplicity purpose, I put it over here. And finally, the page object model code for the login page is going to look even more different. And as you can see here, we are using something called as a component annotation and it is extending the base page but still we don't really have any constructor where it is going to pass the web driver as a super class for the base page because it is not even required because all the different dependencies are going to be automatically resolved for you using the dependency injections of spring boot and that is the major power of having spring boot in the automation code because it is going to resolve all the objects for you automatically 
And as you have seen in our earlier lecture, the advantage of having Spring Boot is the code is going to be minimized as much as possible by focusing just on the convention rather than the configuration. And this is the major advantage. And as you can see, the number of lines of code has reduced and the number of object dependency resolution is also being reduced and all the objects are going to be automatically resolved for you from the Spring Boot because we have decorated all the class using the annotation at component and at auto wire while trying to call the particular class using its instance object. So these are the major advantages of having Spring Boot for automation testing and that's exactly what we'll be looking at in this particular demo while we start working with it. So let's quickly see this in action instead of just looking everything in theory. So as you can see, this is my code, which has got the same code that you just saw on this slide. It has a web driver object creation and it has a navigation option to navigate to the website. And then you can actually read this URL from probably a properties file, but again, you have to write code to read from the property file. So I'm just gonna hard code this value over here. And then there is an object being passed to the home page because the home page actually requires the web driver object, which has to be passed to the base page since the base page actually requires this driver object to be initializing all the page object model elements on the pages which we're going to be using or extending this base page, which is going to be some, nothing but these, as you can see here. And because we are using the page object model, we are definitely required to init all the elements. That's what we're doing over here. And similarly, if you go to see the login page, so the login page as well has got a web driver as a constructor parameter, and then it's passing it to the super, which is nothing but the base page to init all the elements for it. And we also have a base page class. And finally, this code is going to work pretty much as expected because as it names, it is just a, a main method class. And once I start running the code, it is just going to invoke the Chrome browser for you and it's going to start running the test pretty much as expected. So this is what the test execution is going to work for this particular code. And this is about the classical code. And we have seen this many times in our extra automation series, in YouTube series, as well as in the course for a very, very simple operation. But let's talk about the next one, which is using the Spring Boot, this code. And as you can see in this particular project, we actually have got a Spring Boot test annotation, which has all the auto wired homepage and login page. And also the value is coming from the app.url which is nothing but from the resources that we have like these. And we also are passing all the value directly over here. And then we are reading the particular value. And then we are performing just the navigate login and the login operation things. And all these objects are going to be automatically resolved for you for the home page using this auto wired option. And since the Spring Boot actually is using the auto wired, this particular home page will also be decorated as the component annotation. And all these are basically, if you could just click it, you can see that these are all coming from the Spring Boot or Spring Framework. This is what we have actually used over here. So even though this is a Spring Boot, this is all going to be coming from the Spring Framework. And this is the component that we're talking about. And you can see the auto wired is also coming from the Spring Boot framework for the bean factory annotation. Suddenly there is a bean coming. I mean, we'll talk about that in our upcoming lectures of this course, but yes, this is what it is. And you can see that the code is now super simple, just focusing on the business logic instead of focusing a lot on the web driver because it's all going to be initialized just in one place and other things are going to be taken care of for you automatically. So let's try to run this code as well, like how we did the classical test execution. So once I run the test, it is going to start running the spring framework for us this time, as you can see here, and then it's going to launch the browser over here. And then it's running the test for us in the Firefox browser. The reason being, even though we have set the browser as Chrome, 
in the test run, I've actually not specified the property which I'm looking for. So basically it's gonna be taking from this Edge Chrome browser and that's what actually happened. So all these things are automatically happening for you from this particular Spring Boot's power. And we'll be discussing about how we can actually achieve all these things in a much easier fashion starting our next lecture to talk about Spring Boot focused on the automation testing context. Thank you.